So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video we'll cover the main highlight features and do an overview of Canon's EOS Rebel T8i. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video, let's get started. The EOS Rebel T8i, as it's known in North America, or the 850D in Europe, is easily Canon's most advanced Rebel yet. Released in the spring of 2020, it's their flagship mid-range DSLR, and it comes to market three years following the release of the earlier T7i. As the flagship of the Rebel series, it sits just below the EOS 90D and alongside the mirrorless M6 Mark II, and it's a camera that Canon aims at enthusiasts looking to upgrade from an entry-level DSLR or point-and-shoot camera. It obtains a 24.1 megapixel APS-C size CMOS sensor with an anti-aliasing filter and the Digic 8 image processor. This is the same setup as the Rebel SL3. While it didn't receive the higher end 32 megapixel sensor debuted last year on the EOS M6 Mark II or the 90D, this particular configuration remains a known strength for Canon, and the updated Digic 8 processor does offer better processing than its predecessor's Digic 7 processor. Notably, the updated processor has increased the camera's continuous shooting speeds, and it now offers 7.5 frames per second in live view, up from 6 frames per second, and the buffer depth has also improved now providing 35 RAW plus JPEG images before slowing, a 67% improvement over the T7i, which only offers 21 shots by contrast. On the video front, it now offers mostly identical capabilities as the SL3, but these represent a substantial improvement over the T7i. In this case, it now shoots 4K UHD 24 frames per second video, in addition to 1080p Full HD 60 frames per second video, and it does so to the MP4 format with H.264 and IPB standard compression. The camera also records videos using 8-bit 420 color with data rates of 120 megabits for 4K and 6 60 megabits for 1080p. It also obtains the HDR movie mode from the T7i, allowing you to record HDR 1080p 30 frames per second videos. But it now offers the 4K UHD time lapse movies mode, which records a 30 frames per second video using all eye compression. Plus, it now has the video snapshots mode, which records a series of short 1080p 30 frames per second videos, where the camera combines them to create a snapshot album. It also offers the digital zoom function, which allows you to perform up to 10 times digital zooms when recording 1080p 30 frames per second videos, and the camera offers a clean 4K HDMI output, making it a suitable choice for live streaming. Low light performance is excellent. It has a native ISO range from ISO 100 to 25,600, further expandable to 51,200. This is the same range as the T7i, but users can expect usable images up to ISO 6400 or 12,800 with minor processing. For focus, it obtains the same 45-point all-cross type AF system when composing through the viewfinder as the T7i, and the central most point is also a dual cross type point with support to negative 3 EV or f2.8. This is also a very similar setup as the EOS 90D, however it now receives Canon's latest 220K Pixel AE sensor and EOS ITR. These combine to deliver face detection during live view shooting, and they also improve eye detection performance during live view. Additionally, the camera receives Canon's legendary dual pixel CMOS AF with eye detection, covering the majority of the frame. The camera also offers focus magnification and focus peaking if you prefer manually focusing. Battery life is excellent. It uses the same LPE17 battery as the T7i. However, with the new Digic 8 processor comes enormous improvements in battery life, and Canon now rates the camera to deliver 800 shots per charge or 2.5 hours of continuous video recording. For displays, it features an optical viewfinder with a 0.82 times magnification and 95% frame coverage. It also offers a 3-inch very angle TFT touchscreen LCD with a resolution of 1.04 million dots and Canon's Clearview 2 coating. This screen is also identical to the SL3, but it's excellent. Physically, this camera is almost identical to its predecessor in size and dimensions. There's only a slight reduction of 14 grams, and now the camera weighs 471 grams body alone. 
However, Canon has opted for several physical refinements. In this case, they've added a dedicated AF on button, which helps for back button focusing, but they've removed the dedicated Wi-Fi and exposure compensation buttons, cleaning up the rear panel. Instead, these are replaced with a new quick control dial and contoured back thumb rests. Otherwise, it also has a built-in flash, HDR, movie digital IS, Canon's creative assist mode, the smooth skin effect, anti-flicker shooting, extensive in-camera raw processing, several lens correction options, in-camera rating, and built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. In the end, Canon's Rebel TAI represents an interesting middle ground in the current consumer DSLR market. It's not unwildly expensive, but it also offers a solid selection of advanced features, comfortable handling, and an excellent shooting experience. You get a fully articulating screen, decisive autofocus, seven frames per second burst, and more. And given its features, it's not a basic camera beginners will quickly outgrow. As a package, it makes an excellent photography-centric camera. And if you don't need 4K or the more advanced video features from the EOS 90D, then it's reasonably capable here as well. It's also a strong alternative to the EOS M6 Mark II if you prefer DSLR handling, and it's one to consider if you want a well-rounded mid-range DSLR without breaking the bank. So there you have it, my friends. There are the highlights in the overview of Canon's Rebel TAI. For more information on the Rebel TAI and other Canon cameras, check out our website, photographypx.com. Go to our camera reviews page, then to the Canon section, and there you will see a full detailed written review, as well as other reviews of cameras that may be of interest to you. You can also look at the pinned comment in the description down below, and that'll take you right to the full review as well. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>